Hey, what's up everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here. I want to welcome you back to Empyreon, and you'll notice that things are looking a little bit different. In fact, I'm on an entirely new, different planet for, for, for one thing. And yeah, this is the latest version of Empyreon. I, I forget what alpha this is. Alpha 3.3 three or something like that, or maybe 1.3, I, I completely forget. And unfortunately, it had the side effect of deleting my save game. I actually didn't lose my save game in my hardware crash, but I guess this thing just no longer recognized my game anymore, and I was unable to load it or anything, so I have to start a new save, which kind of stinks, you know? Here we are. I was just getting started and looking forward to working on my 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 shuttle or my, my uh, ground vehicle, so we're just going to have to start over again, which kind of stinks, but at least now we don't have to go through all the beginning tasks I think what we'll do is we're just gonna rush it you you guys know the drill you've seen this before you know how you know how this game is played and one of the nice things is I don't think I have access let me see what, what did I just do I don't think I have access see look at look at my head yep so now I have my helmet on and there it's off so I don't even need my helmet here which is great even though I it's kind of weird my oxygen meter is going down all right, let's get started. So here's my shuttle again, kind of useless right now. And what's going on here? Okay, so we're going to take the fuel packs and we'll take the oxygen just in case. And we have an oxygen generator, so we don't have to make this again. And we have, what is this, a core? Okay, so this is what we're going to use to make our vehicle. And let's just put our oxygen generator down here in the water. And I, I will say one thing. I really like... Okay, the water's... They, they gotta work on the water. <laughs> this, this water is... This this is terrible. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Love your game. The water's terrible. And we don't seem to be very deep either. All right. Let's just put our oxygen generator here. We're gonna slap it on like so. And we'll just pop it right there. Okay. Now this is gonna need some power and I don't know how much power I have so we'll just put on one oh, wait I don't even need an oxygen generator <laughs> what am I doing well I'm gonna need an ox oxygen generator when I go out into space okay this is just habit speaking right now guys I am on an oxygen rich planet I, I guess I don't need to to put an oxygen generator here okay so just ignore that part all right next we're what we need to do is we want to get our base starter going and I'm gonna need a lot of fuel for this I'm gonna need those power pellets. So let's go back to the ship. And I, I have no, again, I've never been here before. This planet is new to me and I lost my base. Where is it? Oh, it was on the side of a hill somewhere. All right, let's find our, let's find our shuttle. Here we go. And let's fuel this baby up. And we're gonna quickly go through this stuff. So let's see what supplies we have on hand. Oh God. Uh, all right, so we have all this stuff here. What we need to do... Okay, we got plenty of fuel here. Awesome. What we're going to do is build some build some fuel. We're going to... And we're going to get right into the base building quickly in this. I don't want to spend too much time in the beginning of this series, you know, playing around. And that, that's... Or, you know, just trying to construct things and so forth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, we got these things. We got... All right, we need food, so we're gonna need we're gonna need a food storage area. So let's put this here, and we got a med kit. We're gonna put that right there. And what else? We got antidote pills. It's probably if I'm gonna somehow kill myself, which I probably will do. And do we have? Oh yeah, we have a gun, but we don't have it. I thought the original came with an assault rifle. Evidently not. All right, we got that there. So it seems like, and now correct me if I'm wrong. It feels like they've definitely toned down the starting material that they've given you. They, they've given us. So it looks like we don't have as much as we used to. All right. Do we have fuel in here? Okay. Let's turn on the ship. I love the cockpit. I, I absolutely... Uh, I, that gets me all fired up. Gets my juices going. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to dump in this fuel cells. And we're going to build... A, let's build 10 of them. And let's just move all the rest of these stuff in here too. Ah! <laughs> what did I? What did I just do? What did I break? Okay, we got that, and we got plastic and magnesium. So we have enough to make some ammo. Is our oxygen still going down on an oxygen-rich planet? 
<laughs> Don't tell me I still have to... Uh, all right. We got that going. And let's come back here again. What am I doing? All right. We got this stuff here. So let's come over here. Let's add these. Oh, jeez. All right. Now, I don't know this area at all, but I'm just... I'll just build my base right here, you know? We'll just do it. <laughs> I'm crazy like that. And But the first thing we need to do is we need to, to get some location of any resources. Well, maybe we do, maybe we don't. I don't know. What do you think, guys? All right. Let's see. Let's take a look around. Huh. We're going to have to do some wandering. And again, I have no idea what the points of interest are around here. It's funny, the last game, I knew exactly where, you know, like, there was a nearby capital ship that we could that we looted. Um, there's an alien tower, which we never got to investigate. I knew all those in the starting location. Here, I know nothing. Oh, what's that over there? That looks interesting. Okay. Question is, do we want to visit it? I don't think we're geared up, but we, we're going to head over there. All right, let's come over here, and what we're going to do is... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's such a wuss. <laughs> Alright, we have this. Let's make some plates. We're going to make our plates because this is what we're going to build our hull blocks for. And we probably don't need that much. And here's our hull blo blocks here. So we're going to make... Let's make ten of these. And how much... We need... Oh, wait. We need metal parts? Oh, metal plates. Okay. In fact, we definitely don't need this many plates, so... We'll just build a few. We'll we'll build as we as we need them, and we'll shut this off. Oops. All right. We're gonna do how about twenty whole blocks like that. Next, let's see what we do here. We're gonna need to build our base, which means we need a core. We already have a core. And what else we have? Base. We can get a hover vessel starter. We'll just start off with that. But you know something? We're gonna need all the parts, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this. We have a core here. And oh wait, I gotta throw this in here. Awesome. Let's build our base starter. Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> am I, wait, am I drunk right now? Okay, I have it right down here. Alright. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's been a while. <laughs> Come with some slack. <laughs> okay, so it seems like my oxygen isn't going down. Awesome. Beautiful. All right, next thing we're going to do is when we get our base, we're going to need to build, I believe we're going to need to build a, what was it, a small generator? Let's check this out. A generator here. Nope, small generator. And here comes the fun part. So we're going to need 12 metal components. Yay. Let's build all these. What else we're going to need? Small generator. Two capacitor devices. I believe these don't take too long. Where are you? Where are you, Capacitor? All right, guys. So as you can see, I got the queue. I've pre-calculated everything. I think this is going to work in terms of all the parts I'm going to need to build my small generator. So hopefully that's going to work. And then afterwards, we're going to build. We're going to need to build some fuel tanks right here. In fact, I'm going to do this right now. Four electronics. We'll add these on. Two, three, four. And we're going to need some... What else? Small fuel tank. We're going to need four metal components. Let's just make those right here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you know, it's always been just about to get down to 20, and I always, I'm always knocking it above, adding more stuff on here. And we're going to need three cables. One, two, three. Awesome. And that should give us our fuel tank, our small fuel tank. And then finally, we can start working on our... We're going to need to ultimately build our food stuffs, but let's not worry about that now. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I crapped in my suit, man. So it looks like I'm losing oxygen slowly for whatever reason. Maybe it is that this planet has oxygen, but not enough. I don't quite understand how that works, but let's just, let's build our base. All right, we got 12 hall blocks here. Let's come back here and... Uh, Let's, oh, how are we doing on fuel? How's this guy doing? Uh, okay, plenty. All right, let's come back here, and we got our, our starter, but 
start our base here and we're just going to start we're just going to build our base right here simple easy we don't have to run back and forth to the ship and i'll just throw this right here and yeah so i don't know what's going to go on guys in terms of oh geez we got to find a good spot for this i don't know how this series is gonna i'm calling this a season two right now for all lacks of a better term even though the first season was four parts long and um it it kind of brings up a whole bunch of issues. Oh, jeez. I'm going to have to find a place. All right, we'll just do by the water. We'll go near the oxygen generator. This brings up a whole bunch of issues for me in terms of of what's going on with, uh, what's going on with Imperion. And f first thing is, you know, I, I don't like it when games, a bit like, and I know this is early access, but I don't think, you know, early access games should get into the habit of, you know, deleting you. Oh, here, right here. Woo! Uh, basically wiping out all the all the material, all the progress that you've made so far. I think that's really bad, for, especially in games that involve crafting, because you could have spent a whole lot of time working on something, only to have the developer said, "Well, that's not really going to work for us. We need to change everything, so all the work you've spent in is useless." You know, Minecraft was really, really cautious about that. I mean, they, they did things very smart. Now, there were things you had to do in Minecraft where you had to, during the beta part... Oh, there we go. There's all whole, there's all whole blocks, everyone. Well, not too bad, to tell you the truth. But Minecraft, there, you know, I, I played Minecraft when it was in beta 3. I, th I think it was beta 0.3. And... You know, Notch would make all these changes, but he was really careful about backwards compatibility. And every once in a while, you would have to go back and change everything. For instance, when they, when before they introduced powered rail in that game, there was the slingshot way of launching mine, mine carts down through tracks. And when Notch introduced the powered rail, you know, he was just like, hey, you know, sorry guys. And you had to go back and and change every and basically change update all your tracks to use the new system it was a pain but it didn't it didn't destroy your entire world like this game do, did in seven days to die did does every seven days to die it's like sorry your world's over you know and that kind of stinks when you're building if you watch the second season of my seven days to die ep, um, series you'll see that i built a pretty big base and then at the very end it's like boom it's gone okay Let's all right. Let's see what we got here. Whoops, already been here. All right. Well, I'm gonna wait until all this stuff is done. There's not much more I can do. And uh, well, actually, we could kill stuff to get food, but we don't have we don't have any way we can store the, the meat. Maybe we can just do a little do a little, do a little exploration. Let's see what we can find around here. Well, everything's being built. All right, we are back. You can see I have my generator. And I have some hull blocks. And again, I'm not too sure exactly how hull blocks work per se. And you know, I, I you know, I never built at all. I, I don't want to say even extensively. I built minimally in this game. And I'm not too sure. There's like interior blocks and so forth. So we're gonna be exploring all these things. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think and start thinking about this in terms of rooms and so forth. So let's come here and we're gonna. We're gonna start placing things like this. So this is gonna be our exterior wall here. And I have no idea how doors work in this game also. So we'll walk into our base here. And this will be, let's say this is gonna be the energy room right here. Okay, so <laughs> I don't have a lot of hull blocks to, to work with, but this is where we're gonna keep our generator and our fuel tanks. And this way it will look somewhat neater. You know, it, everything's not gonna be so mishmash. All right, so this is this was gonna be a wall here, and, and oh jeez, let's see here. And it's getting dark out naturally, which makes it a little bit harder to see. Oh, this jetpack. All right, let's move here. How many things we have left? We have eight. All right, so this is gonna be a wall like so. This that's the outdoor. That's like the exterior wall. So we come in here. And we're gonna put our pieces. We'll put them, let's say we'll put this right, like so. How many we got left? We got one left. Okay. 
So this is a wall here, and we'll just put this floor like so. What are you, what's going on here? All right, I must have placed it. I think I placed it. Uh, oh, so this was accidental. We're gonna have to remove that. All right. We got our we got our repair tool in, and we're gonna set that up. I think we're also gonna need to set up a light, <laughs> so we can see what's going on here. I also what I did here is I I got a slope block right here. Of course, I can't see exactly what. <laughs> This is not helping me at all. All right, we need a light. We need a light badly. <laughs> all right, let's... So I have my... Yeah, let's move this off here. And we're going to go to six. And I believe we can load up. And we're going to take away this piece here. Just like that. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to place our generator, like so. Again, I can't see anything, guys, so hopefully that was a good placement. Uh, it's one of these games where it's like, we got to show darkness as, you know, as realistic as possible. <laughs> People love that. All right, and then we need to, let's come in here. We need our fuel station, so let's come in here. We'll put this right next to it. And of course, I did this off kilter, but hey, it's nice. It's different. People will love it. All right, let's get some fuel. All right. Hopefully you can see stuff as always. I like, I'll probably be enhancing this in in post so that you can see better than I can. I can't see anything. And uh, But what I did do is I crafted some lights. But also, first let's come here and let's fuel up our fuel tank. We're gonna drop some of these bad boys in here, like so. I can't wait till I get my guns up and running because I wanna kill those things. Or get my, I shouldn't say my guns, get my, get my food processor up and going. Okay, we have this up and put running. Now, let's see, I crafted a light. Okay, let's get a light in here. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna hit seven and uh, like so. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Can we put one in here too? Ah, oh, so much better. <laughs> this really feels like home, guys. What do you think? You like? All right. Well, we'll end up walling it in here. I, what do you guys think? I mean, this is this is the energy room here, and maybe what we'll do is we'll build out. In t maybe here in this room we'll have our construction, or maybe we'll have the food room over here and we'll put the. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the constructor should be in its own place. So decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm gonna head back and. Now that we have light, I wonder if we can place this block here. No. <laughs> I guess we'll we'll place this thing. All right. I'm gonna do a little more side building here. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of new more more of these guys, these hull blocks, and uh, we'll just keep building out the walls here. It's probably. Such a better, easier way of doing this, but naturally, <laughs> I don't find the construction, the constructions of things like this, much very intuitive at all. It's all right. It's funny. I was looking at my other monitor, and my monitor is one of my monitors is super dark. And then I looked at my current monitor, and I'm, I, I looked over, and I was like, "Oh my god, this thing's really bright!" So I can see everything now. <laughs> Yay. I guess I gotta adjust the brightness on my monitors. Here we go. So this is gonna be our constructing room. And this doesn't have to be too big. We're just gonna keep all the utilities meant for, you know, building and stuff. Again, uh, you know, I'm still relatively new to the game, so I'm not too sure what other things are available to us, but we're gonna keep them in here. Even though it just might be one more constructor. All right, we're gonna put that there, and we're gonna build our floor like this. And we're gonna get, we're gonna have to put a light in here too. All right, so that's our constructor room. Not too bad. 
and this is our other room. This is our power room, and I may put a light right here. We'll see. All right, let's get back, and we're going to need to build our constructor, and what I'll do also is we're going to have something to eat. Chow down on those emergency rations. All right, building our constructor. Let's get this bad boy started. So we have our cargo box, which we're obviously going to need to use. And we got our fridge, which we're, we'll build later. And where is our advanced constructor? I believe it's... I thought it was up here. Large constructor. Okay, here comes the fun part, guys. All right, I will put this together, and uh, we'll jump to the end. And you know something? Before I even forget, let's build a light, too. You can see our lights were right here. So we just need a glass plate. And I'll just build a couple of these. All right, we got our large constructor. And before I leave here, we're going to build a whole bunch of more hull blocks here. And let's just jump back here. It looks like it may be getting lighter. Hard to tell. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! There we go. And finally, come back to our base. Still going well. We'll check out our fuel. Not too bad. And we're going to put this constructor, let's see, we'll put it right in here. Like so. We're just going to, yeah, I guess, I guess we can put it right here. That way I can just run in and see it. And you know something? I'm going to put a light over here. There we go. And you know, if we need another constructor, I guess we could place it right there. Not too, not too big of a deal. And uh, we'll build our. I guess that was meant to be a wall. So let's build. Let's finish up our wall right here. Just like that. Whoops. And we'll jump back up. There we go. And that's our constructor. And again, yeah, we'll put some other stuff. Maybe we'll put some um, some cases in here and you know for our materials. And yeah, so far we start off very well, guys. This is the beginnings of our base and the beginnings of a whole new adventure. So if you have any ideas of where you would like this to go, just leave a message in the comments. What I plan to do next is to get our food processor and our food going. And then we'll start back where we last left off, is working on our ground vehicle. I want to get that up and running as quickly as possible. All right, everyone. I hope you've been uh, enjoying this new series, and I'll catch you in the next episode. See you then.